Welcome to HAP Explorer. My name is Motoshi Kosako, harpist, improviser, composer. On this video series, I would like to share interesting cutting-edge technique of modern harp playing. In this month, uh, I'm featuring Miles Davis compositions and the standard number uh, he often played in his recording. And today's tune is Old Bruce. So usually I start with my lecture and then show the demonstration, but probably a lot of you just skip my lecture anyway and to go to the performance part. So I would like to start this video with the performance of Miles Davis Old Blues.
this is a chord progression I use. And actually, I've never played uh, all blues until I start preparing for this video. And then I tried uh, original key in G7, and then I felt like a little bit theme kind of landing on a little bit too high register for me. So uh, I moved uh, this piece down to E7. So anyway, uh, first four bars are E7, and then next two bars is basically a seventh but our, on the theme actually i keep uh e as a bass so actually i play uh, a seventh over e when i'm playing the theme but on the improvisation i uh, play a seventh for those two bars and then e seventh uh, again and then uh, last four bars will be b seventh and then the half bar, next uh, half half of the next bar is C, and then go down to B seventh, and then two more E seventh. So this is a twelve bars blues, and I can repeat these patterns. So the pedal chart will be when I'm playing E seventh. I pretty much stay on this pedal position, and then. But sometimes I, uh, I want to play the uh, blue note, so I pedal glissando between G and G natural and G sharp, like this. Then sometimes when I play kind of out scale, it sounds like a outside of the uh, E seven scale, but still kind of fit. It's kind of cool, um, kind of modern jazz way of uh, improvising. And I often I used a sharp like this, and also uh, often I keep the pedal position like this when I'm playing E seventh, and then use this A natural to A sharp glit pedal glissando to get kind of bluesy sound. And when I'm playing A seventh, I pretty much. Uh, play with this uh, pedal position and then also you can uh, use pedal glissando to C natural to C sharp to get kind of bluesy uh, effect and then when I play B7 for this piece actually uh, this pedal position is good and this is our actually nice scale also uh, because you don't have any uh, minor third intervals everything is whole steps or half steps so even if you play this scale straight actually sounds pretty cool and this is a ball b7 and then when i play c like this so i change the d and c pedals Uh, simultaneously. What I do is usually I put my uh, foot on a both pedal and then change two pedals at a time. So, but anyway, and then uh, last B7 and then E7 is, uh, I already talked about those chords. So that is how I use the uh, pedal on this piece. And I would like to I would like to show uh, actually how those pedal changes works on the instrument and then how uh, they sound like. So first I want to uh, let you hear the sound of pedal grease sound from G natural to G sharp on the E7 chord. So I'm going to play a little bit of introduction with using this pedal grease sound and then play the theme. And also the important part of this uh, piece is the bass line. And actually bass line is pretty simple. I just repeat the same thing over and over, which is E, B, C, E, D, B, C, B, E. And the 
when you're playing a7 actually just shift this pattern to the uh, the fourth finger on the a and then do the same pattern in this case actually uh, will be like a e f e g oh g natural e f e a For C, actually, I don't do the same pattern, just and B, something like that. Okay, so I'm gonna play E7's part. Doing is the, uh, from G natural to G sharp, a uh, pelgrissando. And then when we go to the theme, it will be like this. That's cool, right? And also another pelgrissando I use here is often I keep the G on the G natural and then use A natural to A sharp pedal glissando. So it sounds like this. So now I have our G pedal on the G natural and then I try to use the A natural to A sharp pedal glissando on E7 chord. Second one is uh, G to G sharp. So I'm using both. This is cool. So so actually, if you use the A, A natural to A sharp glissando and G natural to G sharp glissando and combine this on the E7 chord, you can do something like this. And then, so the A7 chord, uh, I use the C natural to C sharp uh, pedal glissando. So basic uh, pedal position is like this. And then when I'm playing C7, uh, sometimes I m move C between C natural and C sharp and I use as a pedal grid sound as well. So I will let you hear this. So I'm gonna play uh, one major of E7 and then go to the A7. This is C to C natural, a uh, C natural to C sharp pedal with sandal. And then you go back to E7. G natural to G sharp uh, pedal with sandal. That is uh, D, uh, A, A natural to A sharp. And then next chord is uh, B natural. Uh, B7, sorry. So, sounds like this. And then all this combination, and then you can <laughs> play uh, this blues. Uh, the important point of uh, playing this piece is I think you can really play bluesy, but at the same time, this is like a modal, uh, modern jazz style blues. So you can uh, you can combine uh, something like a little bit modern jazz style phrasing. So, for example, so. 
so that kind of a little bit out there kind of scale is I set a pedal like this and then pedal glissando A natural to A sharp and then mostly this is a primarily uh, scale I'm using when I'm playing like that so if you put something like this and then a little bit of blues and a little bit of a uh, kind of modern phrasing you can you can combine this phrasing and you can make an interesting improvisation something like this i mean of course you can do better than that but uh, uh um so the blues is actually a lot of freedom uh there is a many different ways to approach blues so and this uh kind of modal blues all blues is really good uh platform uh, for us to explore different approach to blues so thank you very much for watching and i will continue uh, featuring some other pieces that Miles Davis uh, performed in the past in the next few videos. Thank you for watching.